Hi everybody. I know it's been a very, very long time since I posted something and I'm very, very sorry. A uh, couple things. Uh, number one, I would like to thank all my new subscribers. Um, it's wonderful. It's terrific. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, next thing, um, the reason I haven't posted as much lately is because we had a, a tragedy in the family and I haven't been cooking as much. Today, I'm going to be making beet soup. So, I'm excited about it. Um, these are my son's, uh, one of their favorite soups that I make. I learned it from my grandmother. We used to have it all the time when I was growing up. I'm making it for my kids and they love it. And that's a good thing because it's very, very healthy. So, what I started doing already is I chopped up some fresh beets. Okay, and I put it in a basket in my Ninja Foodi. These come with these wonderful leafy greens. Don't throw them out. They would be wonderful in salads. The greens would be wonderful in salads. So don't throw this away. This is good and it's a good source of iron. The reason I am putting my beets unpeeled here, I washed them already in here is because I'm going to steam the skins off. So this would be a, a really good opportunity to show you that Ninja Foodi or any other pressure cooker can help you peel vegetables that you can't quite get to without boiling water on the stove top. Well now you can. Here's my beets and they're small I've got six beets in here and I put it in here and I'm going to take a cup of water, turn the power on, pressure cook, high for 10 minutes and if it's not enough I could just do another round of what I need. Start. We'll be back. Now I'm going to prep some of my other vegetables. I've got garlic, mince them up. Next on the list is an onion. I'm not going to use this whole onion. Cut it in half. That's a good onion. It makes me cry. <laughs> Cleaning out the tear ducts. Now I have some potatoes I'm going to dice up. I'm going to leave the skins on. Okay, I'm cutting them up about this thick. Okay, now comes the meat. I've got some stew meat here, and they're in pretty big chunks, so I'm gonna cut them up. Okay. I'm cutting them up kind of like this. Okay, we're going to check on the beets now. Quick releasing it, and I smell the beets. And take out the beets, and then, See, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to put on the gloves because this is what happens. Okay, so I got the skin for the, see how it's peeling off really easily. Okay, I'm going to let them cool down and then we'll go to the next step. I'm like a mine or something. We got the beets. They are cooled off, enough for me to handle. You can do this, you can either shred them or dice them. It depends how you like it. I asked my son and he said a mixture of both. So they're about that big. As soon as I'm done chopping them up, I'll bring it back. I have to have fun while cooking. Okay, I just dumped out the liquid that was in the bottom of the pot. I'm going to reserve this. I'm going to turn on to sear saute. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. Baby Spurl, the return. Yay! I just put my potatoes in the bottom because they take the longest. I'm just going to 
uh, saute them for just a little bit because I've got the meat and the onions to also saute. Okay, now I'm going to put in my stew meat. While it's cooking up, I'm gonna add some spices. I've got onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm also gonna put in some celery seed, not celery salt, celery seed. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my diced onion. I'm gonna cook that up until it becomes translucent. Okay, it's at this time I'm going to add in my garlic. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. I'm going to put in my chopped and shredded beets. Okay, zhuzh that around a little bit. And to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet and sour red cabbage. Okay, I'm gonna zhuzh it up. All right, remember that wonderful beet juice we had that I poured out into here? I'm gonna add it back in. Remember, I wash my beets very well before I put them in the pressure cooker, so they're just fine. The liquid is just fine being in here. Okay, now, beef broth. A lot of people can use vegetable broth. I use beef broth. Some even use chicken broth. Okay, I have a six quart Ninja Foodi, and with all the stuff I put in there, it two and three fourths of this kind of beef broth. I still have some left over. Now I'm going to add in two bay leaves. Oh, they smell so good. Okay, I'm going to zhuzh it around a little bit. This is how it looks inside the pot. Looks yummy already. And since I use the red cabbage slaw, it's sweet and sour. It already had vinegar in it. If you were to do it plain without the cabbage, you put about a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. Put the pressure cooker lid on. Go to pressure for 20 minutes. Start. I can't wait. I love this. This reminds me of my childhood, and I'm very glad my kids love this too. It's for you, Grandma. And I've got a beat. I tried to beat in some side of my face. Sorry. <laughs> Looked like I was a vampire. Am I? No. Okay, I just did a quick release because I wanted to see how it looked. Okay, that's how it looks inside the pot. Okay, I'm going to serve myself up some. I usually have this with sour cream, but I thought I'd give it a try first and see how it turned out. Mm. Very good. If you want, you could add more seasonings to it. Um, since I had the sweet and sour cabbage in here, I did not need any of the red wine vinegar. This soup tastes even better cold. Yes, believe it or not, cold soup tastes great. Literally, my kids want me to make this so they can eat it cold. It's good either way, but it's better the second day, like most things. And I can't wait for them to try it tonight for dinner. So please like and subscribe. And barring any other circumstances, I will try and make any requests that I can. I'm sorry to those that I didn't respond to right away. We were dealing with some issues earlier on. Um, and thanks to those who answered the questions that I was not able to. So I thank you very much for that. Like I said, please like and subscribe and put in the comments below something you'd like me to try to make before you try and make it. Everybody have a great, great evening. Bye.